Hello friends. In this video I want to present a review of the technical characteristics and functions of a new instrument that can be very useful. It is the Amprobe 2100 Delta instrument, a combination of an open jaw current clamp and true RMS voltage tester. My name is Robert and I hope this video is of interest to you, in which case do not forget to drop a like, subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. In the supply of this Amprobe 2100 Delta Voltage and Current Measurement Tester, in addition to including documentation such as the user manual in various languages, such as English, Spanish, French, German, Italian and others, it also includes these other accessories. A practical case to carry the instrument attached, for example to the belt of your trousers. Two 4mm banana tips that can be screwed onto the test leads. Two caps to reduce the exposed length of the tips, as well as a plastic accessory to protect the tips and prevent us from getting punctured by them. The clamp works with two 1.5 volt alkaline batteries, type LRO3, AAA, installed at the factory. The Amprobe 2100 Delta Open Clamp has a robust appearance, with a rubber grip to prevent slipping and suitable fasteners to increase safety when taking measurements. It has high IP64 protection against dust and splashes of water, which allows it to be used in difficult, dusty and humid environments. Its electrical safety against network transients is Category 3, 1000 volts and Category 4, 600 volts, so it can be used not only at any point in a three-phase or single-phase installation, but also at the point of connection with the network, an area that requires a protection category 4. It has an LCD display for providing the measurements and indications, as well as LEDs for indications of voltage, polarity, continuity and phase rotation. It also includes a LED to warn us of the presence of dangerous voltage, even if the batteries are dead. In addition to these visual indications the clamp also includes sound signaling, and even has vibration signaling. For an easy use, the clamp automatically detects between AC and DC voltage, so you can't go wrong. The clamp will show the AC or DC symbols, as appropriate, and in the latter case, also the positive or negative sign, according to the placement of the test leads. Both the voltage and current measurements are of true effective value which is extremely important for an accurate measurement without error when there are harmonics in the installation, which nowadays is quite common in electrical networks. To simplify its use, the clamp has only two buttons. The first one allows switching on and off, but it is also used for the sequential selection of the measurement and test functions, so that each time we press it, we can select a different function. The other button also has two functions. If we press it for less than 2 seconds, we will turn on an LED flashlight that it incorporates in its tip, which is a great help to see in electrical panels with little lighting. If we press it for more than 2 seconds, then the present measurement of the display will freeze, that is, it will be fixed on the display, even with the test leads removed from the measuring points, which is very useful, for example in the case that due to the arrangement of the cables, we cannot see the display directly. The test leads also have a robust appearance and are also quite long, more than 80 centimeters each, not counting the ends, which makes it easy to take measurements at distant points. The test leads can be attached to the back of the instrument to keep it perfectly tidy and without the tips sticking out, which prevents us from accidentally pricking ourselves. The test leads can also be conveniently attached sticking out a little in front of the instrument and with a separation of 19 millimeters between the test leads, allowing one-handed measurements on sockets. And considering this measurement in mind, the instrument includes two metal banana tips that can be screwed directly onto the test leads, so that they fit perfectly into the pins of a base, for example, Shuko type. Also included are caps that can be attached to the test leads to reduce the length of the exposed metal tip, and prevent accidental shorting in tight areas. Both these caps and the 4mm banana screw tips can be inserted into a plastic accessory, fixed on the cables, so that they do not get lost. In addition, this accessory serves to cover the test tips when they are not being used, and thus avoid accidental punctures. Now that we have seen the physical aspects of this voltage and current meter, we can move on to see all its measurement and test functions. As I have already mentioned, with just one button we can select between the following functions measurement of AC and DC voltages, 
AC current, resistance, non-contact voltage detection, measurement of small voltages, frequency, small resistances and finally diode test. As for the measurement of voltages, this instrument allows to measure the true effective value of AC voltages of up to 1000 volts, and DC voltages of up to 1500 volts. This last measure, without any doubt, can be very useful in photovoltaic systems, since it is now possible to find voltages of up to 1500 volts in this type of electrical installations. The measurement is shown on the display but is also reflected in the indicator LEDs, with either yellow or red colors, depending on the voltage level. At the same time and for AC voltages higher than 50 volts AC, and DC voltages higher than 120 volts DC, the clamp will hum and vibrate to show us that we are facing dangerous voltages. In this voltage measurement mode, we can also use the instrument in unipolar mode, that is, using only the red tip, as if it were a pole finder, so that if we touch a live cable with that tip, the instrument will warn us both with a visual, audible and vibrating signal of the presence of a dangerous voltage. Additionally, if we apply the L1 tip on the L1 phase of a three-phase system, and the L2 tip on the L2 phase, the instrument will tell us if the phase rotation is correct or if it is reversed, which is important when working with electric motors. The clamp has an open jaw that allows to measure AC currents of up to 200 amps in cables up to 13 mm in section. Given its open clamp format, its use is very convenient especially in cabinets with cables arranged in parallel or in cables where inserting a traditional clamp can be difficult. And as I have mentioned, the clamp measures the true effective value, that is, it takes into account the presence of harmonics in the network. By pressing the function button again, we can select the resistance measurement function, up to 100 kilo ohms. And below 20 ohms the clamp, in addition to displaying the measured value, also emits an audible signal and turns on the RX LED, in order to facilitate the technician's work, so that he does not need to see the screen to know that the measured resistance value is less than 20 ohms. The next function that we can select is the non-contact voltage detection function, called EF. By bringing the cable closer to the right side of the clamp, where there is a mark with the EF indication, the clamp will indicate both with sound and with a scale of three levels the presence of voltage in the cable. This function is very useful for safety reasons, to determine if a cable is under voltage, or to find for example the point of internal break in a cable. To measure AC or DC voltages as small as 1 volt, we can select the following function that appears on the screen with the indication, less than 10. By pressing the selection button again, we can activate the function for measuring the frequency associated with the voltage, from 1 Hz to 800 Hz. And to further facilitate the continuity verification, the next function that we can select is the so-called LRX, which for resistance lower than 20 ohms on the display will appear the indication con, for continuity, to show continuity in a simpler way. Finally, the last function that we can select is the diode test, used to verify the integrity of diodes, for example in rectifier bridges for rectifying AC voltage into DC voltage. As you can see, this Amprobe 2100 Delta, open clamp voltage and current measurement tester, can be very practical in the day-to-day -day measurements carried out by many electrical technicians. In this way, we have reached the end of this presentation that I hope has been of interest to you. If so, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. Thanks a lot for your support. See you in a next video. Bye.